What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, where we discuss software engineering by example. And in this episode, we will discuss how to build a pop-up in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So a pop-up is it's a, like like an illusion dialog that show up on your page, and uh, you can interact with it. That's that's simple. So we're gonna show something like that. So. That's that's what we're building here. So a pop up. So uh, JavaScript and HTML uh, doesn't have pop ups out of box, right? So what we're building here is an illusion of a pop up. So what you're seeing here is when I click on that button, I essentially have one big div element that stretches the whole screen. That's the grayed out black transparent thing that you see in the back end, and Another rectangle or another div element, so two div elements, the second div element is the content, the first one is the container, and then the content, we start showing the message or the dialogue. That's it. That's that's exactly what a pop-up is. So it's very simple. All right, so and then if I click on any outside on that div element that is kind of hidden there, I sh I hide, I hide the whole thing. So how about that? Let's Let's just start to build that. How about that, guys? All right, so we'll start from scratch. Uh, I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code, very nice editor, right? So let's just call it pop-up, test pop-up.html, and let's just start building HTML here. That's very simple stuff. Uh, head, I have fat fingers because I just got my finger. So I have the Band-Aid there. So what we need to do is build a body, and we'll just try to copy that Latin text right here. And then we'll just paste it here. What, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? All right. All right. So we'll just we'll take that. All right. That's a simple thing. All right. So uh, we start pulling user here. That's much better. All right. So the new page is test pop-up page right so that's that's the page right Let's imagine this is your web page that's the website that you already have and you want to add a dialogue to it when you click a button so first obviously you need a button right so let's add a button here called show and uh, it's named show and let's refresh that well what does nothing well what I want to do if I click that I want to show that dialogue or the, so the dialogue consists of two div elements as we agreed right guys so there is a div called uh, let's call it d pop-up container and the, uh, inside that container there is another pop-up content right so that's your message that's where this is my pop-up right that's your pop-up message you can do fancy stuff I don't know make it hit or two me whatever right so you can do the message actually here and that is the pop-up container will be the whole thing so obviously we don't have any code that does that now but we will assign classes styles to those puppies right now okay let's do a style how about that guys do a style and uh, I'm gonna call my first style pop-up container guess what pop-up container the second style is, guess what, pop-up content, right? And the pop-up container, you guessed it, guys, right? So it has to fill the whole screen. So zero, left, top zero, width, 100%, height, 100%, all right? Uh, position, obviously, not relative. We need it fixed, right? Because we were specifying those numbers. And we need a color, so we have, give it an a black color rgb 000 which is in for black but i'm not, i'm going to give it like 50% transparency okay i think that's all i need right wait a second we need one more thing here so in that container hope i still have the old one yes so if you notice if I, in the old container we have this space right here so that container is padded on the top with a certain number and that's what we add right so you can just add uh, padding top I don't know 300 pixels so you can pad uh, did I misspell that oh, because I didn't add that all right so that's the pop-up container the pop-up content 
not much there to say really but you can just add a background color and I want add a color of yeah chartreuse why not okay and maybe I give it a certain height of 200 pixels that's the dialogue remember guys and the width of this I uh, maybe I want to have 80% so that's like I want it to be like 80% of the screen okay the next thing we want to do is assign those guys right so the class of this pop-up container is pop-up container and this guy is pop-up content and what happened here did you add just another nope okay we're good so now if i go back to my thing here you notice right it just like added that thing immediately right and it's like that pop-up is like on to the left and that's because we don't have a margin assigned once you assign a margin for the content you say hey style yourself on margin so it says it's like go in the center essentially that's what it does right so that's like this is my pop-up right but if i click anywhere it's not closing why because we don't have any javascript code that does first of all at first when i open the page i don't want it to start immediately right so that means the container should be guess what guys hidden that's display none Shh, don't show it to me by default okay if I do that, it's it's not showing. But if I click this, nothing else is showing because guess what? We didn't add code, JavaScript code that says, hey, when you someone click on this guy, go ahead and show it. We didn't do that. So I'm gonna create a variable called show uh, called document. I'll get the element by ID show and then show dot uh, add event listener. Click and then you do e at all function if someone clicks on this button go ahead and show the pop-up container but guess what we don't have a pop-up container object do we right so we have to create a pop-up container id let's get it by id there guys and all we have to do is style dot display equal guess what block go ahead and show it block means show none means hide right that shows it so let's refresh and see show nice nice but i can't close it guys i need to close it so guess what if i want to click anywhere here on this gray thingy right i want to close it so what is that gray thingy it's nothing but the pop-up container right so i want to add an event listener if someone click on me go ahead and close me which is essentially hide me, which is essentially power container that style the display equal none. All right, I'm gonna share the code, guys, uh, for uh, in the description below. So don't worry about it if I type too fast. And then look at that. That's the pop up right there, guys. That's it. All right, guys, that's all for me today. You can play with this uh, style to change the color of the background color. Like you can make it like a little turquoise or something else. So it doesn't have to be like black, but black, uh, like the white, the grayed out thing gives an illusion of, of, uh, of a dis disabled, right, <laughs> button. So that's what we want here. That's why I made it like slightly gray. All right, guys, that's all for me today. Check out the other content in software engineering uh, by example and uh, iGeometry. We talked about a lot of software engineering. We have a lot of tutorials, JavaScript, VB, C Sharp, uh, and a lot of GIS. That's my specialty, Geographic Information System. Check out the other content, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.